Well, I heard about Tantur from one of my Franciscan brothers who had been here to uh, take the course a number of years ago. And we were on a pilgrimage together here in the Holy Land, and he pointed out Tantur as we went by. And the thought stuck in my mind uh, as I was planning my sabbatical that I wanted to uh, deepen my experience of being in the land, learning more about the scriptures, more about archaeology, about the place. And so Tantur seemed a perfect fit for my sabbatical plans. And the six-week program has been really a blessing for me. I could sum up the Tantur experience best in saying that I learned real deep connection between what I read in the scriptures and the land. The people who have lived here centuries past, uh, the people who live here now. In listening to the guides, in visiting the archaeological sites, in going to the shrines, in meeting the contemporary people here, the Jewish people, the Israelis, uh, the Palestinians, uh, Palestinian Christians, Muslims, people of different groups that are here as part of the land. I'm able to connect all of these stories with the biblical texts. I know I'm never going to read the Psalms the same way after being here and visiting the desert, for example, or going up on the mountaintops or hiking the trails uh, in Wadi Kelt. Uh, it's going to be a different experience for me now when I read the scriptures, pray over them, and also when I preach about them. That's my number one experience, I think, of Tantur. Obviously, one of the other great parts of this experience is the community. My group had a very diverse group of, of Christians from different parts of the world, different denominations, different experiences, and we bonded together in our travels, in our prayer together, our meals, and really found a lot, I think, in sharing with each other uh, by seeing the experience through another person's eyes, then it affects how you are learning, how you are growing. And so I would recommend that as a, a very important part of the Tantra experience. One of the big pluses of the Tantra experience, as I've said before and we've reflected on uh, as a group, has been the experience of community. Not just the group of us only who came here for the six-week program, but also the people that Tantor brings uh, as its lecturers and guides uh, and as the hosts that, uh, of the places we visit. All of those folks form a kind of community that expresses, I think, a real uh, part of the Tantor mission, and that is to bring people of faith together, to share honestly, uh, to exchange viewpoints, and hopefully in the process to, to advance along the way of peace. And for me, that mix of people in community was so important and very, very rewarding. Tantra is different than an ordinary pilgrimage. Uh, a pilgrimage is a, primarily a spiritual journey that you are on and you're visiting shrines primarily. Uh, and there's a, a, a much more of an upfront atmosphere of prayer. While we prayed here, uh, we also had a lot more time than an ordinary pilgrimage to do visits, to, to, to do things on our own, to experience each other's uh, companionship and, and uh, friendship as we traveled. So it was a little different than a pilgrimage, but it had many, many of the same qualities. I think experiencing the celebrations of the death and resurrection of Jesus are going to be different for me this year. First of all, being in the land where the events happened, but also being with the people uh, that I am meeting here uh, in Jerusalem and beyond that I have met, and also carrying with me the, the stories of my companions at Tantur and the people we met along our journey. All of that's going to go together, I think, in the experience of dying and rising in new birth. And I know that, that uh, God's going to be uh, giving a lot of blessings 
uh, through that experience and, and through the celebrations I hope to, uh, to live out here in Jerusalem in the next weeks.